Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Ark. We're over here on Scorched Earth again. I want to go ahead and start our base renovation. So, pretty much what we're going to do is take a lot of our structures, change them over to S+. We're getting rid of some of the workbenches, so that'll kind of free us up some of the room. And then we need to kind of downsize on some things. We're not going to be using this base for much other than coming over here and having a place to spawn. So we're not going to need a lot of stuff, like all that over there. I'll probably get rid of it. We don't need that whole dino breeding area. If we're going to do any breeding, we'll of course do it over on Valgero. That's where I have everything set up at. So, let's see. I got a little care package. And what we're going to end up doing is probably keeping the turrets because Argentavis spawn right over there. And with the tech generators I brought, it should be fine to go ahead and power those. I don't want to use any S+, plus, or not S+, plus, but um, the tech ones. I don't want to have to keep filling those up with shards because I think we're kind of full on ammo on these. Yeah, we got a good bit on them, so they should be fine for a little bit. Why is there a griffin here? Oh, you know what? So I was counting the griffins as I was putting them away over on Valgaro, and we only had 16. So that explains why there's another one. I didn't see a death message. So I was kind of wondering what happened to our extra one. He must have spawned up here if it was too crowded down there. There's a wolf down there. We need to put a turret down there is what we need to do. And I don't know if we're going to keep this, that bridge. We might get rid of it. We might actually build a small ramp going down to there. I don't know yet. I'm not too sure. I mean, that was a lot to build that. But if we don't have the dino breeding area over there, we kind of don't need all that. I'm trying to downsize on the maps to save on lag and stuff like that. Up here, I plan on getting rid of all the preserving bins. We don't need them. We'll probably turn this into a small little trophy room and then respawn with beds and stuff. Might make those into bunk beds so we can have more respawn points. And I'm thinking about putting regular windows in. The only thing is, I want to do the corners with pillars, and I don't think I can unless I change out like one of the ceiling tiles with an S plus one. We'll have to see about that. And I have some more of the regular lights so we can get rid of all of these lights. We have to keep that. Trash that, trash that. Not trash it, but grind it. We're going to grind all that stuff up and probably move some of this stuff around. We've got a bunch of vaults. And what I was thinking was, I don't know what we would put down here now, but if we take our cooking stuff and put it over here, make this our little cooking area down here, and then the forge, we can probably put the forge inside with the replicator like we usually do. We're going to get rid of a lot of these teams. This guy is bugged. We got one over, I think he's on Lost Island, that we tamed recently that doesn't have any problems. This one, if you get on him and jump around, even if you get off of him and put him into a crowd pod, he has that whooshing sound. From, like the wind, so he's like totally bugged. We need to just get rid of him. You have some space in you. Oh, dude, you got a bunch of stuff in you. Oh, you got my gear. I was wondering where my Manicore armor set was. Interesting. So, yeah, you got 2,000 pounds. Let's go down here and grab our care package. Get rid of this one wolf. And we'll see about where we want to start. It's kind of a weird thing. So we need to set up our generators first. I've got some of the tech ones. And that way, with the S plus tech ones, we don't have to worry about them getting damaged. And dude, I tell you what, man. I got a generator over there and one over here. And the amount of times I've had those things break or had to repair them, it is ridiculous. All right, so a grinder. We've got some windows. We've got... We've got four of these. We don't need four. We only need three. I made up four because I was on a lost island. I did a lot of traveling. And I can make up a couple over there. We need to take two over to Crystal Isle still. So I need to make one more up in Valgaro. And then we can have our teleporter where we can use our transmitter thing and do it from anywhere. And I brought our tech suit in case I need it for flying around if we have to do too much rebuilding. Because I didn't bring Wingman. He's still over... I think he's on Crystal Isles? He's still on vacation, man. But I got a teleporter and a replicator, so we're kind of set up here once we get stuff sorted out. I plan on leaving the windmill. It's not in use, but I just kind of like it, so we'll probably leave that here. Alright, so first things first, let's get some gear that we need. We're going to need one of these. We're going to need one of these. One of these. And probably about 10 of those. And that should do us for equipment for today. I hope. 
I should probably grab a canteen with some water, too. It's fine. We'll deal with that in a few minutes. So, yeah, what I was planning on doing was, in the corners, running our pillars up. But, dude, I do not want to have to replace all of these ceilings just to be able to do that. Because you have to be able to do it on the S-plus one so you can put it on the corner. So, we'll have to see. There's only three artifacts on this map. So, we probably move those upstairs. Maybe on display outside. And then out here, we'll just keep this for dino storage. Why are you out here? You're only a level 160. We'll get rid of him as well. The dung beetle, I might actually take over to Valgaro. We've only got one over there. And dude, i tell you what, all those turrets out there, the S-plus ones, they use so much of the fertilizer, it is ridiculous. So let's set up our stuff. We need to make a converting table as well. I'm hoping to do all this in one video. This might be a two-part series if I have to do a lot of extra building. I don't plan on it. I plan on just kind of keeping the whole structure and just upgrading it. But I want to put pillars on the corners. <laughs> so that kind of that might mess everything up. All right, so there's our table. Let's build... Make about three of these just so we have them on hand. They're really good for when you got to move vaults and stuff around, which we do need to do today. And let's set our grinder up temporarily on this one. Where's our grinder? Is it in the bird? Give me that back. We're going to have a ton of stuff to grind today, too. Cool. All right. So where we need to start off at is let's grab some elements and head underneath. Where's our element? I want to make these into shards, but before we do that, we have to set up the replicator. So we'll just take a stack. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We'll work it out. Go down to our little generator room here. Let's see. Let's go ahead and take that out. Oh, I need to repair it first. See, this is what I'm talking about, man. These things get damaged so much on this map. It's going to be nice not having to deal with it. And under here, it is a mess. What I plan on doing is getting rid of all of the electrical wires and then all of the water pipes as well. Because these water pipes run all the way down to here and then outside and all the way down to the water. Don't need to do that anymore. We'll probably just set one up here and then that'll be our intake. Are you repaired yet? There we go. Wait. Repair. Pick it up. <laughs> Gotta be fast, man. That thing, like, gets damaged right away. So structure, let's get rid of just a couple of these. I'll pick the rest up in a few minutes. Okay, we didn't need that anyways. All right, all right. Do the rest later. Let's set up all of our generators right here. I would like to remove all of these pillars if I can. Or some of them. I just don't want to start breaking stuff. You know, with vanilla equipment, it's very easy for stuff to start falling apart. Like, you pick up a pillar here, and way over there, wall falls. It's happened before, man. <laughs> I did that all on Valgaro. That's why I ended up rebuilding the whole base, which I'm really hoping, really hoping to not have to do here. I mean, that'll be fine for now. Like I said, I'll make these into shards here before too long. All right, so now we can use our... This, for getting back to base as soon as we set the teleporter up. Speaking of bases, there should be one more base. There is. Way over there. The original base, around 7060. We should stop by there if we have time. I'm not sure if anything's left. I'd like to double check. So, let's start inside here. Dude, we got wires going everywhere. You got stuff in you. You got stuff in you. That's okay. Tell you what. Let's just... We made up some of these. Let's go ahead and use them. We'll put this one right here for the moment. We're going to empty everything into that. And then we'll pick them up. I'd like to do, kind of get the refrigerators narrowed down to just one. And these things, I just want to grab it all and throw it right into the grinder. Let's leave our stuff we're keeping. Let's do this. Just to make stuff easier, I'd like to keep this stuff on me. Those are all getting grinded. And that we'll hold on to. And we'll use this for storage. In the meantime. But yeah, all of these, I've kind of looked at them before. And I don't want to search through them again. I'll be here all day trying to figure out ones to keep, ones not to keep. We have better teams of almost all of those. Let's just take these. I know, I know. We're going to throw them into the grinder. 
Now I'd have to worry about him. Wait, what is that? Morelotops. See? That's what I'm talking about, man. <laughs> I'll be here all day. I just want to get rid of him, man. A lot of this stuff I've had for years, like, in a literal sense. Alright, we're going to pick up you. All of those are getting shredded as well. You need to be converted. You need to be shredded. I've got the regular ones. We'll set up enough of them to kind of light up in here. And then for, if we want to do any of the regular ones, we got that Ecos mod where we'll be using some of the Viking stuff. They've got the little braziers that sit on the ground. We'll probably use some of those as well for light. All right, let's keep that like it is for the moment. I think there's another one out here, right? There is. Can I reach you through the window? Oh, we can. Fantastic. I'll get rid of you. Oh, dude, look at that, man. Already. So, I plan on doing... What do I plan on doing? Maybe just right here. Seems how it's kind of small. We'll put a long table and do our replicator and forge like usual. And I want to get rid of all of these. Get rid of those. I've got some regular glass walls. Maybe we'll make most of this a glass wall down here. And then I'm thinking about... Do we have anything in here? Oh, we do. I need to search through these later. I don't think any of this stuff we really need to keep. But I'm thinking just leaving the two vaults. We'll convert them over to S+. Plus and I think they'll hold 600 then. And then we'll put the refrigerator there. Just one. And that'll free up some space down here too. Without having both of those. That's the last one we have of these for the moment. So let's go ahead and just set it here. We'll empty these and we'll convert all this stuff and set it right back out. And most of the stuff that was in the fridge too, I can probably get rid of. Like, see all this cactus sap? I mean, it's good for munching on while we're right here. But for the most part, we don't need it. I only want to keep the stuff like this that's made. Alright, so there's that. Let's do a little bit of converting real quick. I want to get the refrigerator set back out if we can. We don't need the fabricator. That can get grinded, and so can those. And then one of those. I don't want to grind it. I want to take it back to... Well, we can go ahead and grind it. I want to take it back over to the other map, I was thinking, because I still need some more of those for making another fridge. One of the tech ones. Oh, let's grab that out. Yeah, that'll be fine. All right, give me all your stuff. Demolish you. It should fit in there, right? Oh, it does. Plenty of room. Plenty of room, man. Cool. And that's full. Tell you what, let's take the eggs. A little snack. Don't need the berries. Or these. It's a lot of vegetables, too. We'll keep the meats... And some of the regular berries to put in a feeding trough, which I totally forgot to bring. I'm going to have to make one of those here, too, which, I mean, we got enough stuff anyways. That's only level 100. I'd like to kind of get rid of all the eggs, too. I know I've got a bunch of them on this map. But I don't think any of them are high enough level to really do anything with. We don't need the narco berries. And I think this food was kind of bugged and messed up. Well, we get health out of it. We get 300 food. We'll keep it. We'll keep it. It's fine. It's a lot of meat as well. Or not meat, but uh, spoiled meat. We don't need the mushrooms. Do I tell you what, man? I got so many mushrooms, I'm not sure why I have one of those. That should be good. Wait, why is there all those other vegetables? Dude, there's a lot of stuff in here, man. <laughs> I'm just saying. What is left in here? All I want is this, this, and that. And the rest is junk. Cool. So that got rid of a ton of stuff there. Let's take all this stuff now. Convert these over. Put all these into there, too. We'll deal with the blueprints later. I'll search on those after... After we're done recording, trash a bunch of them just to get them out of there. Same with you. Alright. And what are in these? That's a bunch of stuff we need to keep. 
Now, that's some stuff we need to keep. That can be thrown into the grinder. Tell you what, we can go ahead and get rid of these too. I don't know if all this will fit into this one. That's kind of... Oh, it does. Interesting. Well. I think these got some stuff in it, too. Probably charcoal. I want to get rid of these. We don't need them at all anymore since how we have the big one. We'll keep the cooking pot because some of the holiday events we can come over here for. I think, like, Halloween. And there's one more we can do over here. I forget what it is. Instead of going to the island... And we need a regular cooking pot for making up the event items. Awesome. So now we can go ahead and put our cooking stuff down here. I'm not sure if we can put a S plus cooking pot directly onto a normal ceiling. I might need to convert some of those. That's where it's going to get kind of sketchy if we have to. All right. So we're only keeping two of the vaults. The other ones we will grind up. And I'll probably take a lot of the resources back to Valgaro as well. Try to get it straight. Make sure we're not poking out of the back. Are you empty? You're not. What do you have? Gas. <laughs> He's got gas. It's a personal problem, man. I'm just saying. And then all of these we just need to kind of get rid of too. Those will be put into the grinder. We don't need anything over here with reserving bins. Store that in there along with the gas. We're going to have tons of gas to take back to Crystal Isles. Cool. And I'll leave this for the moment. I'll kind of fix that here before too long. So that's good. Cool. All of you into one of you. <laughs> I like it. And what's in this one? More junk. I'll tell you what, we'll put all this into that one. All right, so where's the rest of these cables going to? You. And you. And that should be it. Should be able to just pick these up and then use the... Other one for the soul traps to pick those up. I don't think they're going to have enough weight to where they're going to be too much. Oh, never mind. I say that and we're kind of overweight. Oil and spark powder. Oh, yeah. A ton of spark powder, dude. Still overweight. We don't need any of that. Not sure why we have it. I just saved it. I think we get those from the sandworms. Cool. So that's done up here. I don't have a gardener or, or anything. I don't think we're going to really do anything. I might just leave these up here for looks. I kind of like it, man. It looks pretty neat. We need to get that water kind of ran to fix that, too. So let's do that. Oh, man. I tell you what. Let's... Hmm. We'll remove that one and this one. And we should be able to do an intake. And then a vertical. Let's do two verticals. I should be able to do it right here. Underneath though, right? I wonder if a flex would reach. Just one. And then we can do the hide on it, and it'll hide all that stuff. Almost. What if we do another vertical coming up? Oh, dude, that is perfect, man. Nice. <laughs> Barely, but that's all we need. And then hide that, and there we go. We don't have water in the base here, but we can sort that out later. Maybe just right up there, I'll add in a tap. 
that we can drink out of. What do we have on us we need to get rid of? A lot of stuff. We need to put that stuff into the fridge, too. Drop that one. So much spark powder, man. Alright, so we need to convert nothing. We need to grind a lot. And that's set. Let's see if we can set this... Down directly on this. Oh, we can't. We do need a S plus ceiling. I wonder if this is going to be the same height. Sometimes they're different. Whenever you mix the S plus and the regular. Oh, easy. And they're not. Ah, oh, dude. So the thing that sucks about that, down here would be very easy to, to change over. Make a bunch of the ceilings and just replace them. But when we get up here and me wanting to do the pillars in the corners, I'm going to have to replace all of the floor. Not that big of a deal. We've got a ton of the stuff. I just need to, I think I'm going to craft it all up first. And then just set them on top and not worry about picking them up and converting those. It's going to be easier. To do it that way. Pick up you. And you guys. I kind of want to keep the kangaroo, man. I want a higher level one. There's some R versions over on Gen 2. I really want a kangaroo. A good one for running around. This guy has... 164 on his movement speed. He gets around faster than if you're flying. And the jump that he does... Oh my gosh. I've done it before on here. You can jump way over there. I'll tell you what, man, he's fantastic for getting around the map. All right, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let me go ahead and move you out of the way. Let me go ahead and make up a bunch of ceilings and replace these. It's going to make it a lot easier for the rest of the stuff. And then we can go ahead and start setting down our cooking stuff down here. Don't know what we're going to do in here. And then we'll start on our stuff in here. What is... Oh, that's connected to... We'll have to pick those up. That's the uh, turrets, I think. But that should be good enough. And let's see. Let's see what our range is on... Oh, dude. Water. I want to see what our range is on our generators. We should have plenty of room where they're at. And I want to remove all that water line. <laughs> that thing was such a pain to get all the way up. I think I had to do it off of the moth. I don't know what happened to my moth, but I think that's what I used it for. Generators are under here. Oh, yeah, we got plenty of room. Plenty of room. That's going to cover everything. So we're good. And we could actually... I was thinking about moving the turrets. But if we put those over on the wall, it's going to take out stuff on that side, too. And I don't want to do that. Hey, with the range on those things, man. Oh, it's fantastic. All right. Let me get all these ceilings made and changed over. And then we'll continue. We don't have too much left on this side. I mean, we do, but we don't. And then we really got to pick all that stuff up. And I totally forgot we got that Parasaur, or Parasur, over there with the original mobile taming trap that I have. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I like it. It works. A lot of people make fun of it, though. All right, so I think I have them all somewhat changed over. Let's go ahead and drop all this extra weight off. I didn't do the ones up here. I think these are going to be fine. We're not really doing much up here. And then let's grab a couple pillars. Let's do the regular ones. Let's do five. And I want to see if this is going to work like it should. We should be able to stack these down here now that they're S+. Plus. Oh, thank goodness. That is definitely what I want to do. It's going to make it look a lot better. And then it'll help out because, like I said, I want to do some glass walls. And that'll be a kind of like a good border whenever we do change them over. Is that... Sticking out the same amount as that one? I think it is, right? Yeah. That'll be fine, especially whenever we turn this into glass. This one might not be glass, so because of... What we're going to put there. Anyways, all this is done. I need to get rid of a lot of these dinos. And I think all these are S plus 2. Yeah, 
We need to change this over. So let's get some stuff set out. Let's get the Ecos pack real quick done. And we can start making our tables and get our replicator out. That's kind of something I need right now to kind of progress a little bit more. So, give me one long table, please. And then, let's leave those in there for later. We'll take you. And then, where is... What's on me? There we go. All right. Leave a little bit of extra room. It just works out so nice. It looks so good, too, with having these up on this one long table instead of using the regular vanilla ones. I really want more building parts in Arc 2. That's the main thing. Awesome. Oh, dude, we got a replicator. <laughs> Fantastic. So, pick you up. And that's done. That fits just right, too. I didn't think about the height. I don't think we're poking out of the ceiling. Or not. It's even better. Cool. Let's change these over as well. Well, let's see. Can we make, can we make bunk beds? I don't know if I have all the stuff. We should. We do. We have enough for one. I mean, that's fine. That's good enough. Let's just demolish them. And that is our good respawn point. I'm thinking about putting our teleporter up here as well. Maybe right here. It's kind of out of the way if we do. I do have it on us. It's in here. Let's take these out as well. It's getting kind of towards the evening. There we go. And that'll allow us to kind of respawn and then have our stuff right there. And maybe make one of the mannequins to drop our stuff in. I kind of like doing that. Dropping our stuff in the mannequins for transport. Or a box. Even a box is fine. Alright, so that stuff... Yeah, I want to get rid of those windows too. So, where are we at in life? We've got our stuff out. Let's get a couple of these lights. Probably just do like one right here. And then one over here. Wait, where's the... And the thing is, with having them down here, we don't need to put them upstairs. It should technically shine through. I'll wait until nighttime and then place them so that... Or change uh, the settings on them and stuff. Cool. Well, I'm going to make up a bunch more pillars. I want to do all of the corners. It's a lot of corners, man. Holy crap, dude. There's a ton of corners. And we're going to be removing this stuff. Dude, I am so nervous about taking down walls. But I was thinking about doing glass on these four. <laughs> that was on dino. I want it on structure. Let's demolish it. Oh. All right, nothing fell. We are good. Let's grab some of our windows. Those are in the bird, right? I got rid of the manis. Poor little dude. But he was in the way, and we didn't need to keep him. Let's do 25 for right now. Ah, oh, you know what? I totally forgot about bringing some paint and stuff. And we got to make up four of the pillars. Don't be weird. Don't be weird. That's my, You're being weird. <laughs> That's not where I wanted it. There's something up there it wants to clip to. There we go. Buddy, work with me. There we go. That's not too bad. It'll be fine. Let's see if the tent is messed up on this map like it is over on the other one. It's not. It's fine. So we don't need to paint them here. Where's the glass? Oh, we do. It's got that weird... What is going on with that? It's like foggy looking. But as soon as you paint it, it's fine. I should probably get some paint and stuff making up in here. Well, let's set up our industrial cooker and we'll just set it up there. 
We're gonna need one more. Oh wait, we don't need the table for the grill because it's full size now. We need to put that out too. So this should clip in. I'm hoping. Oh, it does. Oh, thank goodness. I probably should have checked that before I changed everything over. We'll leave that off for now just because it's so hot. And as far as irrigation, that's going to be fairly simple. Let's do it from this side. We'll just do an intake. One of you will do a flex. One of you. And I think I need a pipe going up in the middle. I don't know with the S+. Plus. Let's try this. Yeah, because there's nothing for it to connect to. So if we do the vertical. And then we can connect the flex to it. And then hide them all. Oh, wait. It does connect down there. Oh, that's the bottom of the thing. So that is not irrigated still. Because I didn't connect it to anything. Okay. Okay. All right. We'll just make another one. It'll still all hide the same. <laughs> it doesn't matter. All right. So that's kind of weird. But it should be irrigated. There we go. Go and just hide it all. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I, th I thought everything was collapsing around me. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, man. That was so loud for some reason in my headphones. Dude, <laughs> I don't know where I was running. I was really under a building and thought I was gonna, the whole thing was going to collapse. So, <laughs> oh, man. That is, it's the heat, dude, I'm telling you. It's the heat. We've been out in the sun far too long. We need some water. We need to go inside and cool off. I'm going to sit here and cool off. I'm going to make a lot of pillars. We're going to need quite a few to do the corner pieces with. And then I need to start making up some dye. I'll get some black dye going. We have plenty of charcoal. I'll grab some berries. Even though we just trashed a whole bunch of the black ones that we need. We might have some up top too in the in the garden. And that way we can go ahead and get these painted. And all the other windows too. And get it set up. We're almost done. We're not too far. And then whenever we come back to it should be dark enough to kind of set up the lights and stuff. Need to figure out where else I want to put windows. I'm thinking right here. If it doesn't, like, fall. Watch out, we're doing demolish. Oh, oh, dude, I tell you what, it's scary every time you do that. That's that's good. That'll let in some light, and I need to replace that one with a regular one. And that one, too. I don't want it to uh, have those weird, weird windows, you know? All right, I'll see you back in a bit. Let me get some of this stuff going. All right, so we got some dyes. We're going to have plenty. I just need a paintbrush. One of you, please. That's all the dies. We got 55. That should be enough. And that should be the last three of the pillars that we need. I think it looks kind of all right. Not as well as the stone ones, but I think it look, looks better than just having it kind of squared off, you know? So, last three should be right here. Two down here. We got to go up top for the last one. Maybe not. Oh, I forgot about that corner. Okay. We need one or two more. So that's those. One, two, three. We'll do four more. And that should be good. And while that's going, let's take a look at this glass real quick. We should just have to paint it, and it should be already set with everything else. We need region six. Yeah, there we go. That nice dark tint to it. Dark but light at the same time. At least it's not foggy looking. And we'll leave the frames. We need to make that feature off real quick too. Change that out. That'll help out with our... Dino food spoiling so much. One more. There we go. Okay, well, let's go ahead and just demolish it. 
Alright. One of the feed troughs. Dude, it's like so much room in here. Wait, what is that? Transfer control unit. Interesting. Alright, so. Anyways, one of you. Polymer! Oh, dude! Well, we'll get some of that here in a few minutes. Not a big deal. I'll put everything into the refrigerator. Safekeeping. That way it doesn't spoil. Let's get some more glass done. We're almost done with base. Where are we going to put this at? Maybe just right here, huh? It's kind of out of the way. I like it at an angle. Because it's weird. It takes up so much room. There we go. And this will be glass here. We in a heat wave or something? Why are we hot? Where's the temperature at? It's only 111. Why are we hot right here? It's only in there. Is it because... Chemistry bench, huh? That puts off heat. Oh, wait, no? What is going on? We got a hot spot. Do we need some air conditioners? Might have to make some up. Put one to the floor. It's kind of a smart thing to do. All right, anyways. <laughs> I don't know where else to put some glass at. I was kind of hoping to make this look a little bit more opened up. And we'll do glass and change these. Wait, why did it not? Now we're out of water. Well, I'll tell you what. Do we not have a canteen? Make a take one real quick. Forgot to bring one with me. Lie down on the Argentavis real quick. Grab some water. Alright, so I did a little bit more moving around. And I decided to go ahead and move the replicator and stuff over. Hold on, I'll show you real quick. It looked really weird. With this being so kind of closed in here. So I moved it right here. I'm not too sure how I like it. It kind of sticks out a little bit. I could move it back a little bit further, but then it would be sticking out of here. But it kind of opens that up some. And I'm thinking about putting the artifacts right there on the inside. Let's grab the pedestals real quick. I really want to put some ACs underneath. I think we have everything to build some. And I don't have the artifacts now. I have to grab some. But well, let's start in the middle. I think it'll look pretty cool. See that there is only three, and it's kind of small. It'll light it up really good at night as well. So there's that. I need to make some flags I want to put up, but let me show you on the inside. I'm trying to find the stairs, man. So I got the glass going up right there by the bed, and then I made all this glass too. So it lets a lot of light in, which is kind of cool. I don't know what's up with the heat. I know I have the forge on, but it was still... Without the forge on, it was creating a lot of heat right here. In this one particular spot. I don't know what it is. So I need to grab some of those. I might grab those off of Lost Island. Before we go real quick. Because I do not want to do any runs. <laughs> I still need for it to get dark enough for that. I want to make some rugs like I usually do. We'll put one out right there. And probably one right here. And then that said there. The grinder. I think what we're going to do is just move the grinder over right here. I'll make a table. We can do it while we're talking. Let's make a long table just because. And we'll make one of the regular seats. Yeah, we'll just do one of those. Set one of those out here as well. So there's that. It's so hard to see whenever you craft stuff in that thing where the done product is. We'll do that right there. Do our little chair right here. We well, got somewhere to wait whenever you're grinding stuff up, you know. It looks really weird. Oh, it's got a shield on the back. That's why. I was like, man, what is going on with that? All right, let's go ahead and grind you. Grind all. Oh, wait. There we go. Oh, wait, there's a polymer I bet we need, too. Let's do this. Oh. 
Yep, I know, man. You're hot. Nice. Okay, cool. So we do have everything for that now. We'll probably still put that back here. It's out of the way, you know. Still reaches everything. Grab a little bit of meat for it. A little bit of meat, a little bit of berries. Shouldn't be too much. We don't have too many tames. I need to get rid of a lot of those still. Got stuck on the chair. <laughs> it's kind of sticking out a little bit. Cool, and we don't have to worry about the dino's food spoiling so fast. Let's pick you up. And we'll probably set you off to the side here. You know what, maybe we should have done a small one. That's fine, though. That's fine. What have you got? A bunch of junk. And we didn't need the rest of those, which is fine. I'm going to hold on to this. I'll probably still need it for converting stuff over. Cool. It's almost done here. All right, tell you what. I'm going to wait for nighttime. We'll do a little something with the lights. I'll probably jump over and grab those other... Are these on? They are. Probably grab those other artifacts just so we have something to put out there. And I don't think I'm going to do anything else up, to, up here. This is still good, right? Yeah, that's fine. Nice, man. Nice. It's just about done. I need to figure out what I want to do up here, too. I was thinking about putting some stuff on the walls. Like the trophies and everything. I'll make those solid since I have the solid ones. And we'll put some trophies over here. I'll grab them from over there in the barn. And make those rugs up. Oh, dude. Just about finished. I'll tell you what. That is some fantastic weather we're having. <laughs> Nothing like a lightning storm. So let me show you where we're at. It looks kind of cool from the outside. I'm just saying. I put some of the Manticore flags. We got two of them on the top. I want to make some more of the Viking ones before we go. I've got a couple rugs out here. I changed it around. I put that over there so it's not like sitting right on the side here. And then I put a light out here as well. We've got our replicator and forge. We've got our artifacts. A couple rugs on the ground. Our chemistry bench. We've got our refrigerator and our vaults. Come up top here. There's not too much. I didn't know what else to put up here. But we've got three of the trophies. I got the mana core and then... That's the alpha dragon that we can, ki can kill over here. And then that's the sandworm, alpha one. And we've got our teleporter, our greenhouse. We've got our bunk beds. Our two turrets. We've got our two flags. Our windmill that is not operational. And I think I want to make two of the Viking flags. Two should be fine. I kind of want to set those up here. Yeah, we'll do one there. And I was thinking about one over here in the corner. Just because there's not too much over here. And it kind of has that set. I like the way that the bridge looks. Especially whenever there's the electrical storms. Or it's getting kind of nighttime. I don't know, man. It looks kind of creepy to me, really. So we might end up just leaving this. And I'll probably just demolish everything over there. And get rid of it and maybe just set up one or two turrets i'll put right here just to keep anything from wandering over i mean we do have the walls up so we might just leave those instead and that's kind of it man so everything is set for us to come over here do some taming do some boss fights we have all of our stuff that we need oh yeah i put on my armor too whenever i came back from valgaro and lost island grabbing our stuff so it's uh it's not too bad man i like it but yeah so everything's set up here we can come over, do our taming, and have just kind of like the necessities here, right? We don't have all the extra stuff. I'm going to clean up my storage and get rid of a lot of stuff, too, whenever I get done recording. And that will kind of empty out the vaults a good bit, too. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you like our renovation on our Scorched Earth base. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.